Green Turtle Classic, powered by SFMSports.net. Joined now by Steve Kadelka, the head coach at Lynchburg, fresh off a 9-7 win over your college. And, Coach, um, there was an accusation made by Coach Childs that you control the weather <laughs> and that it's well known by everyone that's ever played for you that you control the weather, and, and he thinks that maybe you controlled the snow coming down today. Any truth to those rumors? Uh, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a myth that runs around <laughs> campus. But, uh, <laughs> no, it was, it was a crazy weather day, that's, you know, for sure, but I think we've kind of dodged a pretty big bullet. You know, um, you know, last year we had to move it back a day, so uh, it's nice. You know, it, it was cold, but not too bad. You know, we got the game in, which is good. And obviously for you guys, you got a really good win, and after a 3-4 and four start of the season, um, how did you manage to get the guys in just a day to get focused, turn around, and ready for this game? Um, you know, I, I think you got to know our players. You know, um, they're I just talking in the locker room. They are a resilient group. Yeah. And, um, you know, we've played one of the best schedules in the country. And so, uh, you know, there was no doubt in my mind that, um, you know, we, we, we were licking our wounds last night a little bit, but, but there was no doubt in my mind that this group of young men were going to come out today and, and, and give everything that they had. You know, I think what really jumps out at me is that you did it without having to rely single-handedly on Austin Stewart, that you have one of the best. And that's not that he didn't have a good game. He right, had a very good right. game, but he didn't have to carry you. You got a very balanced offensive output. You know, we, we, that was, uh, that was a big point last night. You know, um, we, we talked a lot about that after the game and, and, you know, really addressed that to the team. And, and I thought a lot of guys responded today and didn't, didn't rely on Austin doing everything. And, uh, you know, but yeah, he had a great game. Aaron Murphy had a great game and, and Evan Lombardo, a young yeah. freshman came in and, and gave us a little bit of spark down there at attack, which was nice. How good does this feel now coming out of this to, to get a win like this against a really good team, a team that was undefeated coming yeah, in you know, to take forward? I mean, um, it, you know, it's bittersweet to be honest. I mean, you know, coach Childs, uh, and his assistant Rob Day played for him, yep. you know, and, um, you know, while I'm getting in a bus to go and, and feel pretty good, I know they're going in a bus not feeling so good, you know. And so we've both – we've all been on that end of it. And um, and we talk, you know, once or twice a week. And so, um, you know, he's a, he's done a great job with York. And, and um, you know, so, so it's – while it's awesome for our guys, I, I, I feel I feel for them as well. All right, it's it's well said, Coach. Just your thoughts in general, being a part of this event this year, and as always, the what the work that's done to put it on, and, no and what it means to I, the coaches and, and the sport in general. Yeah, I'm glad you asked me that question because I, I really wanted to say that. Um, you know, I, I really thank Coach Canabine and, and Brad Adams and, and and the whole staff. I mean, everybody that's here, you know, for this entire weekend putting this on. I mean, this is. Uh, we think we have an awesome product in Division Three lacrosse. Yeah. You know, Paul and I talk about that all the time. Um, our kids love to play. You got some great teams here, some some great talented teams. Um, you know, and, and I think you know this event really highlights that. You know, where you know I know Division One gets a lot of the press and publicity, but uh, you know th at this level we got we got some awesome kids playing some at, at an awesome level, and uh, you know it's awesome to, to to really put it in a venue like this and an event like this this weekend. You know, eight games, uh, action packed lacrosse. I mean, it's, it's, and thanks to head hand, you know, uh, thanks to Stevenson for putting everything on. That's really well said, Coach. Congratulations Thank on a big win, much. and thanks Thank for you. taking the time, Coach Steve Kadelka from Lynchburg. This is the Green Turtle Classic, powered by SFMSports.net.